So let's uh, let's pop over to the fourth wall here. I'm gonna pull out my uh, whiteboard, and I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about what is chibi. Where's my whiteboard markers? I have some whiteboard markers around here. I promise. Ah, uh, let's see. Are they in here? Yes, they are. All right. This is for a future project that I will be doing on a future video with my son. And I am excited to show you guys that. But let's talk about Chibi. Okay. So for instance, let's talk about let's talk about an adult human being, okay? An adult human being, two, three, four, five, six, seven is generally speaking about and I'm, I'm gonna just rough this out really fast because I'm, I'm at a weird angle here but a human adult is about seven and a half heads tall okay so if their head is this big Seven and a half heads is how tall a human. And you're going, why are why are we talking about this? Hold on for one second. I'll get to you. In just you know, you'll you'll figure it out in a second. If we take that human being and make them two, three, four, five and a half heads, and keep everything roughly still in proportion, um, what we end up with? What is this? You know, just just looking at this. What do we got here? Um, wow. I'm just drawing at a bad angle, but these are the proportions of a child. Okay? Maybe an adolescent. Five, okay, so seven heads, seven and a half heads is an adult. Five heads is a child. So chibi, the idea of chibi is is pushing things towards, and, and, and children are cuter than adults, right? So the idea of chibi is to push things as far towards that cute as you possibly can. Now here's the problem with this. Let's come back, let's come on this other side here. Okay, I'm gonna draw this one left-handed and it's not gonna work. But if I draw a creature which is only one head tall, Okay. In other words, we got feet, we got arms, but it's all just one head tall. That is not cute. That is grotesque. That is there's there's a character in Marvel that's just a big floating head. And that's not cool. So the the thing about Chibi is if you push things too far, it goes to grotesque. It goes to gross. It grows to disgusting. I need something to erase with. Why don't I have anything in here to erase with? Ah! This, this ladies and gentlemen, is the high-quality planning that you can expect from the 3D printing professor. All right. Hold on for a second. I got something to fake it with. We are not going to talk about what I am using. Okay. So, obviously, if we go to one head, it's too far. It's grotesque. But, what if we push it just a little bit further in the other direction? Okay, so let's step it backwards, basically, is the idea. Uh, instead of going three heads, let's go, or instead of going one head, let's go two heads. And we'll fit the entire body in the same space as one head. This is cute. This is chibi. Now, I've seen a lot of American artists won't push it this far. They'll make the head, uh, the, the body will be three heads tall. The whole figure will be three heads tall, which means the body will be two heads. That's Anne Frank, okay? Or Lisa Frank. Not Anne Frank. Wrong. That's Lisa Frank. Lisa Frank will, like, she goes towards Chibi, but she doesn't push it. Chibi is, like, right at that edge where if you pushed it any further, it would be grotesque, but it doesn't cross that line. Now, let me give you another example. Where'd my eraser go? Alrighty. Alrighty. 
And I mean, this is like you're pushing things further than nature pushes them. That's 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 why it looks grotesque if you push it too far. I find this fascinating. This is why I'm talking about this. Also, to fill time while we hopefully can uh, go up to, well, we're down to 49 viewers now. We hit a low point of 44 viewers. <sighs> Oh well, <laughs> I find chibi. Fa I find the aesthetic fascinating. I find understanding the aesthetic to be like a key to. Um, I, I don't know. It's just like understanding art, you know. Okay, let's talk about the proportions of the head. Okay, now most people when they draw a head, they'll draw. The eyes and the nose, the nose will be about in the middle and the mouth and everything will be evenly spaced. That is incorrect, um, at least according to, to the way our heads work. Believe it or not, the, the eyes kind of sit on the halfway point. There, we have as much cranium above our head as we do jaw below it. It's, it's weird, but the eyes kind of sit, and sometimes the eyes sit even a little bit below that point with the eyebrows actually sitting on that line. The nose does sit about halfway below that and the mouth there. That is a properly proportioned uh, human head. There we go, we'll put some man hair on there. Okay, but if we take these proportions and push them down just a little bit, okay, this is a child's head, maybe even a baby if we push it far enough. The whole thing exists within this little triangle in the lower third of the face. If you ever look at a baby, they've got a huge cranium, right? Uh, but chibi, so if, if this is adult and this is a child, how far can we push this? Well, the eyes are going closer to the mouth and the whole thing's going down. So if we really push this, if we, if we go towards the grotesque, okay, then the nose is going to migrate up and possibly even be above, and the eyes are going to be below, and the mouth is, you know, it's the whole thing's going to be upside. That's wrong. That's grotesque. Okay, let's see if we can step it backwards, though. What if we took everything, put it into the lower quarter here, and put it all on a straight line? Eyes, nose, mouth. If we do that... That's chibi. And it's it's pushing. It's like on that edge of grotesque. It's like nothing in nature would ever be proportioned like this. Now, with a lot of my chibi malls, I actually, I, I couldn't push it this far. I tried to, but I wanted to have a nose and a mouth. And chibi has to throw out one or the other of them because they're all on that same plane. And so I, I sometimes will put the nose in the middle and a small mouth below it, but I put it as close as I can to that straight line there, and we end up with, with Chibi. If you look at Hello Kitty, her proportions are all along that straight line. Now, they do move them up just a little bit. They're closer towards the middle, but that's the idea behind Chibi, is it puts the eyes, the nose, the mouth all on a straight line. Any further than that, it would push it towards the grotesque, but it's a little bit further the nature would take it. And so, Chibi, there you go. It's, it's, it's to me, fascinating. Chibi is, is to me, absolutely fascinating. Let's, uh, let's put our little baby curl back here. And of course, there's always a question of where do you put the ears and stuff like that, you know. And when they're animals, where do their ears go and things like that. But that's, so the idea, that, that I've, in my exploration of Chibi and discovery, um, that's what I've discovered, and I, th I thought it was fascinating, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. You know what? I say it counts. Let's do it. Let's launch the Kickstarter, guys. Let's do this thing. Let's go crazy. Here we go. All right, good. Here we go. Project test. Oh, wait. we got to go to the computer screen for this. Okay, here we go. This is this is what a Kickstarter looks like on the backside, guys. Let me just let me go through this for you guys uh, while we're letting it catch up. 
Uh, can we? Can you use a weed whacker string? You know, this morning. Well, I'll get back to the weed whacker string. Uh, so when you start a Kickstarter, you have all these different categories. You need to name the project and put an image and a video together and decide how much you're going to need to raise and things like that. You need to set up the rewards. You need to write that whole front page story for the dang thing, and. You need to, if you have people, collaborators, you need to define them there. Set up your payment, and then you send it off to review. And for a week, you're sitting there just waiting for them to say, yeah, it's a good Kickstarter, and go with it. Which I understand, they need to, they, you know, they vet this thing, and that's good. Um, and then, when that's finally done, it kicks back to here, and it says, um, it's been approved, and hit this button to launch it. So here we go. Are we ready to hit the button? Are we ready? Ah! Okay, well, hold on for a second. Uh, yes, yeah, so we have 30 days from now. Are you sure about this? Okay. And if I reach my funding goal, you must complete your project. Oh, camera one, camera two. Okay. You must complete your project and fulfill each reward. Like, not even a problem, guys. You guys know like, you remember the low poly dino? As soon as it succeeded, I kicked it over to you guys, like, as soon as I possibly could. I might even go sooner than that. Just as soon as it says we're good, I'm going to do that from now. I'm not going to wait for the money to come in this time. As soon as they say, yes, we've collected, I'm going to kick them off. So, not even a problem. I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I have read. I understand this. Let's. Are we ready? Launch now. Three, two, one. One. Okay, there we go. It's live, guys! The, kick, the Chibi Malls Kickstarter is live. You're going to want to go to kickstarter.com slash project slash 3DP professor slash Chibi Malls. There's the link right there for it. Um, and we're at 500. Guys... The Chibi Malls Kickstarter has just been successfully funded before I could hit stop on this. And I blame my kids for delaying it, because I should have stopped it 10 minutes ago. But funded in like 10 f minutes. Holy smokes, people. Uh, actually, let's let's jump back to it. I, I cannot, um, thank you guys. You guys are amazing. And I was, this was only going to go for an hour. Uh, we have now been going for just over an hour. So I guess I should stop it. Um, I guess I really should stop it because I, if I keep going, um, I, I, you guys have just made me speechless. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you guys very much. <sighs> Well, I guess I'm going to have to start working on, uh, oh guys, I got to send out uh, things to the backers to let them know how to vote on the new animals. Uh, we got to start voting on the new animals, and we got to start making cheap malls. I've got 30 days of making a ton of 3D models. Um, oh, thank you, guys. Um, I, I, I've got, you know, I've got things that I say at the end of a video, and I can't think of a single one of them. My brain is completely shot, and I'm looking at the wrong camera this whole time. Let's let's switch it so I can look at the right camera. Thank you, guys. Um, you guys are awesome. This is going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm going to end here. Um, but this isn't the end in any way. I just can't live stream for a month while I do this whole thing. I've, I've got kids who are knocking down my door. So, thank you. You guys are awesome. I did not expect this. Um, last last dip into chat. Uh, basically a running total of what we're doing. I freaking can't see the chat. <laughs> um, thank you, Joshua, for saying thanks or congrats. Um, it might have been Jay-Z who pushed it over. Um, Josh, you can still do the low poly dinos. They're available for sale on 3dpprofessor.com slash shop. Uh, and in fact, I've broken them up into smaller bits. So if you don't want to do the whole $40 one, you can do it in smaller bits at a time. Uh, <laughs> Dan Witt says this Kickstarter will reach 1 billion. Or is that one Bitcoin? I'm not really sure. 
Um, can you market worldwide? No. Okay. I don't know what that means. I thought we were worldwide. Um, 600 day gum guys. Um, amazing. Love them. The cheapy malls, the cheapy malls must flow. It's time. It's time to open up the floodgates. I'm going to be doing nothing but modeling cheapy malls for the next month. Um, thank you guys. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I've, I've got nothing, guys. Um, you know, uh, you know what? I do always end my videos with the same thing. I end it with safety first because I care about you. But with this, guys, um, thank you. All right. I'm signing off now. Serious. I'm going. Thank you, guys. <sighs> thank you, guys. Bye.